Science Kids, how are you today? I hope that you are all fine and doing great. I am happy to welcome you to the wonderful and amazing world of science. Are you excited for the new topic for this episode? Yeah! That's great! I'm your Wonder Science teacher. Teacher Mayen, and here is our new episode for Grade 4 Science. For today's lesson, you will be able to Describe the effects of environment in the life cycle of organisms. Before we start our new topic, can you still recall your previous lesson? Yeah! Amazing! Let's have a recap. In the previous lesson, we discussed about the stages of the life cycle of plants, animals, and humans. We started with the life cycle of plants, which begins from seed, sprout, seedling, and plant. We also learned the life cycle of animals, the complete and incomplete metamorphosis. Lastly, the human life cycle that begins from birth, infancy, childhood, adolescence, and adulthood. Now that you know already the stages of the life cycle of organisms, let's have a game! Are you ready? Yeah! Let's start! I will show you pictures of different places and you will name what is shown in every picture. What is shown in the first picture? Very good! The environment for organism shown in the picture is a river. How about this? What can you see? That's right! It's a rice field. How about the next one? You got it right! It shows a mountain! Let's have the next one. You're correct! It shows a forest. How about this? What can you see? That's right! It shows a grassland. Kids, if you got all the answers correct, you did a great job. But if not, you can still do it in the other activities. Good luck! Yeah! The environment is composed of biotic and abiotic factors. The biotic factors are those things that have life, while abiotic factors are those things that have no life. The interactions of these two factors affect much the growth and development of organisms. As organisms grow, it is expected that they socialize with other organisms which may be their means of food just like us humans. As humans, we need food, water, air, cloth, and shelter for us to survive. These are all our basic needs. That is why the environment is important for us to grow 
and perform our role based on the species we belong. Now, let's talk about the effect of sunlight and air on the life cycle of organisms. Air is an abiotic factor needed by organisms in their growth and development. Sunlight, on the other hand, is important because it is the main source of energy. Plants use sunlight to make food in a process called photosynthesis. They store the food in their leaves and in the fruits. The energy stored in the plants flows or transfers to the animals that eat these plants. Without the sun, life will not be possible on earth. If air is polluted and there is no enough sunlight, the life cycle of organisms are hindered and affected. Second is the effect of water and space on the life cycle of organisms. Space refers to the land occupied by the plants and animals. Living things need space to live and breathe. Overcrowding, especially in animals, can result in stress and diseases. Plants, animals, and humans need enough living space in order to survive and multiply. However, when there are too many organisms in a given space, overcrowding occurs. Overpopulation or overcrowding is not good to the health of the organism. Next is water. All living organisms require water for survival. Plants need water when they manufacture food. Animals and humans need fresh water for our organs to function. We get water from drinking it and from our food. Water makes our bodies absorb vitamins and minerals from the food we eat. Water may be consumed by living things or may also be a habitat for them. It provides a breeding ground or temporary home for animals which spend part of their lives in water, like frogs and some insects. If water is polluted, it has a negative effect on the life cycle of organisms. The third and last factor that affect the cycle of organisms is the climate. Climate considered to be one of the major environmental conditions that affect the life cycle of organisms. The changes in climate that take place within the year affect the key stage on the life cycle of organisms. So, it is very important for us to take care and protect our environment for the organisms to continue their life cycle. Hence, abiotic factors like air, space, sunlight, water, and climbing bring effect in the life cycle of organisms. Now, to further measure how much you have learned from this video lesson, do this activity. Arrange the jumbled letters to form the correct word. Number one, it is the main source of energy. If your answer is sunlight, correct! Number two, it is one of the major conditions in the environment that affects the life cycle of organisms. If your answer is climate, you got it! Number 3. 
It is needed for our organs to function. If your answer is water, very good! For item number 4, it is also known as non-living things. If your answer is abiotic, you're right! For item number 5, the surroundings are conditions in which humans, animals, and plants live or operate. If your answer is environment, you got it right! Congratulations, young scientists! You did a great job! For our exercise number two, study the diagram and answer the questions. Question number one. In what environment do frogs live? Correct! Frogs live in water. Next number. In what stage or stages in the life of the frog is water most important? That's right! Water is important in all stages of the life cycle of the frog. Next, in what stage in the life cycle of the frog will a frog most affected when water is polluted? The correct answer is egg mass and tadpole. Let's take a look on the stages of the life cycle of a corn. Question number one. How does sunlight become important in the life cycle of organisms? You're right. It is important in making food. Question number two. Will a corn plant produce good quality of grains? If all leaves are removed, why? Very good! A corn plant will not be able to produce good quality of grains if all leaves are removed because it will not be able to manufacture its own food or go through Photosynthesis Keep in mind the following big ideas in our lesson for today. The environment plays an important role in the life cycle of organisms. Organisms interact with non-living materials such as water, air, sunlight, space, and climate. As an organism, we interact with our environment to continue life. Continue reading your notes to better understand the lesson. 
That's all for today, young scientists. You've reached the end of our lesson. You were able to describe the effects of the environment in the life cycle of organisms. Congratulations! Yay! I hope that you have learned something new in this science lesson. See you again on the next episode. Bye for now and keep safe everyone.